What's up guys, I'm Crazy Jack, and welcome to Looking Back, a 30 minute adventure, exploration type RPG platformer action, I don't even know. It's about 30 minutes long and there's no save function, so let's go ahead and get started. Should be about a I didn't minute. think it would happen so fast. One year, that's all it took. I never got to say goodbye. Aaron McDonald, 1987 to 2016. Huh, about 29 years old. Can I do a thing? Oh, I, I can do a thing. Okay, so WASD and... Okay. I need to... Ah, uh, no, it's too sensitive. Ah, geez. It's in this limbo between the two sensitivities on my mouse. Actually, there's three, but one would be even worse. Uh, yeah. So, that's kind of a weird sensitivity. Okay, so I can't go that way. There's an invisible wall presenting me going that way. So, I guess this is a bit more of like an introspective game, and the title kind of suggests that this is going to be a bit of a mind game. Exploring the emotions of a human being as they go through various tragic events in their life and there's a seam in the grass So I can't run I cannot jump. I cannot crouch. I'm assuming I'm just supposed to go forward towards the not invisible wall And a pond splash splash uh, Wait was was that supposed to happen? Okay, I guess I'm being teleported to another world. Goodbye earth toodaloo one year ago. Okay, so I guess this is a flashback by jumping into a pond. Logic. Left click to interact. Okay. Exit memory. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to be finding memories. Can I interact with a painting, maybe? I cannot. That's a very interesting painting, though. That woman sure enjoys her animal clothing. Definitely not PETA friendly. I can't uh, believe it's been five years since we visited San Francisco. I keep promising we'll go on another trip, but my tour schedule always gets in the way. Aaron looks so happy here. I can't tell which one is which, which one's supposed to be me, and which one is not me, but, uh... I mean, they both look happy, so... Officially done moving in. Jesus, I'm tired. That's enough of lifting boxes for one lifetime. But hey, this place is really starting to look like home. Although most of the stuff is Aaron's. I, I don't think it counts as officially moved in until all the boxes are unpacked. Which is why I still don't count myself as officially moved in. Because I still have two boxes with stuff in them from back, from back home. Rug. Erin insisted that we needed a cheerful rug. You know, to tie the room together. I keep making that joke, but she's never seen The Big Lebowski. We've got to see it together sometime. That's a good movie. The Big Lebowski is a great movie. If you have never seen it, go watch it start to finish. It is a fantastic movie. Also, that rug does not really go with the room at all. So I appreciate her attempt to get a rug to tie the room together, but it just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Kind of like this painting. But I do like the painting. It's been nice taking some time off with Erin between touring. I'll have to hit the road again soon, though. I take her along, but I don't think she'd like it. Touring isn't like traveling. You could ask her. She might like it. Touring isn't like traveling, but if she's not the one actually doing the, the performances and stuff, she at least gets some time to look around and see some cool attractions and whatnot. God, I miss home cooking when I'm on the road. Erin is a sorceress in the kitchen. A sorceress. I could use a sorceress in the kitchen. Honestly, I'm not very good at cooking. I cook, like, the simplest stuff. My faithful psychic. We've been through a lot together, right, buddy? Really? You just have one suitcase all this time? Sure, why not? Can I? Okay, I can't. Yes, Erin. I finally got some new adult sheets for this new adult bed. I guess it was time to throw out my old tie-dye sheets from uni. So, did she move in here alone? Because the grave said 2016, so I assume that's this year, right, right now. And this is one year ago before she died. So why is she moving in with Erin's stuff if she's not living with Erin? So if she is living with Erin, are they actually sharing a bed? Which, I mean, is not a bad thing it just has some implications about the relationship they have i'm trying to infer things about their relationship because i'm guessing it's supposed to be a character exploration so that's what i'm going for so i guess nothing in the bathroom except there is a mirror for some reason it takes a while to load but that's okay um okay so nothing in the bathroom it seems so what else is there to examine have i got everything it might be everything I'm just gonna take one more look around before I exit the memory. Usually it comes up with like the text on the screen of the thing I'm looking at. Oh, wait. Ah. You'd think Erin would have got enough of these things working at a plant nursery, but she's turning our home into a greenhouse too. She says being around nature is good for your health. The girl's got a green thumb, that's for sure. She's named the fern, Jeremy. She, she, did you say she named the fern Jeremy? 
If we tuck away a little cash here and there, we can save up for an honest-to-god vacation. Someplace warm and sunny. Maybe Italy or Greece? Uh, San Francisco is pretty warm and sunny. Just saying that right now. All right, thank you, everything. Thank God, everything. All right, I'm out of here. I'm Audi. Acheron. Acheron? Acheron. Acheron? Whoa, okay, this suddenly got very depressing and moody. Especially with the whispers in the back Olivia? of my ears. Erin, are you all right? It's too late. You need to get out of here. No, I'm not leaving without you. Erin? Erin, I'm coming for you. Okay. Am I supposed to jump into the waterfall of doom? All right, into the waterfall of doom. Sploosh. Okay, that was a hard landing. Why am I going into the waterfall of doom exactly? I mean, I can't really get back now, so... Wait, what? There's a bed here. This did feel kind of like Nightmare Land. I do wonder what is that way. Also, there is like a crap ton of rugs here. I'm supposed to go that way second, though. This game could use a run function, by the way. Oh, yes. All the rugs. Boxes. Bed. Stop whispering in the back of my ear. That's really disorienting. Stop it. Stop it, voices. Bad voices. No cookies for you. You gotta deter the voices somehow. I assume voices like cookies. I like cookies. Cookies are delicious. Have you guys had cookies recently? You should have some cookies, like, right now. Crazy Act gives you permission. Go, go get some cookies. And some two-ring stuff, it looks like. My guitar, my old suitcase. Uh, why am I going into the darkness? Goodbye, light. Toodles! Seven months ago. So is this seven months ago from a year ago? I'm assuming not. I'm assuming this is actually seven months ago from 2016. Yes, it is, because all the pop boxes are packed. Erin? Where is she? She knew I'd be back from touring today. Olivia home, pick up candy. I assume that's candy as in a person's a person's name, not candy as in candy, candy. All right, this actually place actually looks lived in now, significantly different from before. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, but for some reason that rug actually looks better now. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's because I'm looking at it with the couch in view. I don't know. The rug actually looks better now, and I have no idea why. Hello. Oh. That was not expected. Oh, God. Erin? Uh, was that my phone? Phone? Telephone Aaron, where? what happened? Are you okay? I'm okay. Jesus, there's blood everywhere. Where are you? I'm at the hospital. Olivia, I need you to come here. What's going on? Are you hurt? I think we'd better talk in person. I'm on my way. Did she try to kill herself? Because I'm guessing if someone else had tried to kill her, then, uh, well, they would have been successful. And she sounds way too, like, lucid for it to have been, like, a traumatic event, so I think she tried to kill herself. What's the sound of your voice? Erin, where are you? Am I just walking in blood right now? Remember when we first started dating? When you used to play songs for me all the time, I'd come over and sit on the bed because you didn't have any chairs. And you'd play guitar and sing for me. Look, Erin, tell me where you are. I'm going to get you out of here. You were so romantic back then. I miss the days when you write songs for me. Erin, this really isn't the time. I need to find you. We never talked at the end. I just want to have a conversation. I'm literally going through hell for you, and you want to have a fucking chat about our courtship. Why won't you just talk to me? You never, you never communicate all these years together and I still don't understand how your mind works. I used to listen to you practice thinking, oh, that song sounds sad. Is, is she mad at me? You're reading too much into it. Or you'd play me something really beautiful. And I thought maybe that was your way of saying you love me. I was, I was jealous of your guitar. You could go weeks without calling me, but when you were... You're making music, it was like you were speaking in another language. You just couldn't make sense of it. I don't want to talk about this right now. Why are you here, Olivia? What's this all for if you won't even show me some compassion? Am I just some empty goal for you to reach? Erin, we'll talk about this when I find you, but just... I'm doing my best here, okay? I don't need a guilt trip. Fine. 
Okay, where am I supposed to go then? And yes, I was right there actually dating. Um, but I have actually no idea where I'm supposed to go. What I'm supposed to be finding. I don't think I can get over all these bloody mattresses. I don't think there's any way past these things. And it does not look like I can get through the curtain either. So am I just supposed to go back? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is there really no way past these? I don't think there's any way past these. I'm pretty sure there is no way past these at all. Uh, unless I go inside them. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go that way. So where am I actually supposed to go then? All right, I guess I'm gonna just take a look around. So it definitely seems as though she, I'm pretty sure she tried to commit suicide as she was getting further and further into an unhappy relationship. She felt ignored and turned away by the fact that I had music and she had nothing when I wasn't there. Which is a very, that's, that's a difficult way to live in a relationship is um, if the person has nothing else, then as soon as that the other person tries to take some freedom, tries to do something on their own, it can really, it can really cause a lot of problems. So can I swim down? There looks like there's a hole down there. Can I swim down into this? Or is that just a reflection of that? Don't tell me I'm lost. Oh, okay. I can maybe get past this. I don't know. Am I supposed to? I suddenly have the ability to jump. I definitely did not have that before. Okay. I have the ability to jump now. I don't know where that came from. The game just kind of decided to give me a jump and a run mechanic at once for no particular reason. All right, whatever. We'll go with it. All righty. So this is a giant ass bathtub, holy moly. And it's filled with blood, so that's good. Except not in really any way at all. So am I just supposed to work my way around the bathtub to the other side or what? Am I supposed to jump into the bathtub? I'm assuming not, but then again, this, this shampoo is blocking my tiny body from getting around the edge of the, the bathtub. So, yep, we're going in. Sploosh. Uh, should I go towards the drain? Let's go towards the drain. I feel like I'm probably gonna drown down here eventually. I can't breathe in blood. I don't know if you guys can. I, I am not capable of breathing in blood. Then again, this isn't solid blood, otherwise I would not be able to see. But I'm assuming it wants me to go down the drain. Also, I can jump really high in the blood. Into the drain! No? Yes. Yay, I did it! Four months ago. So three months after she attempted to commit suicide. And the music got significantly different. I guess Greece will have to wait. Oh, why, why is there why are there less coins there now? Did you use them on something? Did you actually use them on hospital bills? Because that would be so sad if they actually had to do that. How did we only catch the Sphinx so late in its development? The doctors have been talking about a hysterectomy, but they're afraid the tumor has spread into the rest of her pelvis by now. I wish there was something I could do. I feel so useless. Olivia home. Uh, Oh, Olivia home from like her tours, I get it. And then something 7 a.m. looks like chess, cherry, 7 a.m. And then something up, I can't even read the handwriting on here. Remember prescription, it's a prescription. Um, okay, so is she in here somewhere? Is I mean to wash the dishes, but Erin always gets them first. And then she complains that she has to do all the housework herself. <sighs> yeah. Does she just wait a little? Yeah, I know what that's like. My parents were actually like that. I feel like I'm never even home long enough to get used to sleeping here. Really? That's how often you're on the road? I can't imagine that would wear on you. Oh, good. God, Erin hates this. She's no naturalist, but I know she really doesn't like the idea of pumping her body full of chemicals. What else can we do, though? So she, I guess instead of, she might have tried to off herself. I don't actually know. But she seems to have come into um, cervical cancer, which is a horrible, horrible thing to discover. Um, and I guess that could have been related to the blood or not. I don't actually know. But definitely she's... I'm uh, taking a break from touring for a few weeks. But the treatments don't pay for themselves. Honestly, this has been so much to process. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm a little grateful for the space when I'm on the road. Yeah, I mean, a little space never hurt anybody, but the other person still needs support, you know, especially when they have cancer. Like, that's kind of a huge, life-changing event that you you really need some support to get through. I think that's everything, except maybe the guitar. Nope, I think that's everything. Okay, let's get out of here then. I will say I did not expect something quite this heavy when I got into this game to begin with, but still. 
Fligathon. Fligathon? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce these place names. But I'm pretty sure these are different aspects of hell. Which is awful. Am I Those dead? The hardest months of my life. I was in pain all the time. I was afraid I'd die any minute. I know, Aaron. But the hardest part was going through it alone. I was suffering and you were never there. I wanted to be with you, really. Then why weren't you? You could have stopped the tour, easy. I didn't know how to help you. There was nothing I could do but sit around and feel anxious all the time. At least on the road, I felt like I was doing something useful. Besides, we needed the money. If it was about the money, we could have reached out to friends and family. I never asked you to do any of that. I needed you with me. I'm sorry, okay? I just don't see how I could have made any difference if I'd been at home. Made any difference? I would have made all the difference in the world. I thought if these were my last few months, I, I want to spend them with you. It would have been such a comfort just to know that if, if I died, you wouldn't be somewhere halfway around the world. I worried about that every day. And still, you didn't, you didn't just come home? It was so hard seeing you getting sicker and sicker. I felt like my heart was being crushed to bits. I know it doesn't compare to what you were going through, but I was suffering too, watching you get worse. I missed the girl who was full of life. I wanted to remember you like that. And coming to terms with the fact that I might never see that side of you again. I needed space to grieve. Olivia, it would have been easier to grieve together. It is true. It would have. And yeah, I mean, like, it's really hard to balance between that because if she was the one making the money, then it would have definitely been to their benefit for her to keep going. Like, yeah, friends and family can only go so far when it comes to lending you money for, like, hospital bills and whatnot. Those are expensive, by the way, because I'm assuming this takes place in the United States where um, a lot of this would come out of pocket. Be I mean, you have insurance, but there's, you know, certain amounts of deductibles and whatnot. So a lot of it comes out of pocket. You need money to pay for it. And it's, it's a rough thing to go through. But the support is important, too. So it's like, well, which one do you prioritize? Making sure they can get the care that they need or making sure that they can get the attention they need? Like, oh. Oh, good. Yeah, no, great. Yeah, just a, a room full of pills. Yeah, just reminding me of every horrible thing she had to go through. And honestly, that's kind of what the, these little dreams... I don't know what the, you really call these. These aspects of hell. Whoa. What the hell? That's kind of what these feel like, is they feel like... The things that she went through. Oh, okay, I guess I can't go that way. Really, I have to navigate through this with... Okay. And that's invisible flames, too. All right. This is going to be a thing. Also, I don't know what that horrible screeching sound is. It's not a fun sound, I'll tell you that. So where am I going? Where am I trying to get to? The pills? I think I'm trying to get to the pills. That's my guess. Nope, can't get through there. All right, let's go this way. All right, I can run. I forgot. My run is a little bit of a pansy run, but I still got one. So that's good. Can I get this way, or is that too easy? Nope, that's it. Yay, into the pills. Fushoom. Hi, pills. Just floating pills everywhere. Two months ago. Getting slowly closer to the actual death. Oh, good. Nighttime. Yeah, to set a mood, I suppose. I thought she'd be home when I got back. Whiskey. What's this? What have you been up to? Uh-huh. Cigarettes? No, you've got to be kidding me. What kind of idiot smokes around a cancer patient? I didn't think Aaron was even in contact with Aria anymore. I'm pretty sure she's the one smoking. What the fuck? Did you want me to see this, Aaron? See, I know it's hard to feel like she's never here anyway if you try talking to her. I've tried. I don't think she wants to deal with it. Sorry to dump all this on you. Thanks for listening, though. No trouble, and I'm so sorry all this is happening. You don't deserve this. I miss you. I miss you, too. Do you want me to come over? Oh, so it was... It was their friend that came over and, and smoked. I assumed that she had, like, picked up the drinking and smoking herself as methods of coping during her last few months. Well, if they slept together, at least they had the decency to do it somewhere other than our goddamn bed. Well, there's that. But mostly, I think she just wanted someone to, you know, talk to. Oh, yeah. I think she's... I mean, it's it makes perfect sense. All of this makes perfect sense. It's exactly what you'd expect of someone who is... Like, who's going through something as horrific as cancer and never has anyone around to help them through it. I'm surprised she didn't go... Like, if she has, you know, um, family or other friends, I'm surprised she never went to stay with them. 
All right, sticks. I can pronounce that one. I know how. I know how that one works. Except I feel like I'm gonna fall off this thing at any moment here. Please tell me I'm not gonna fall off. Eh. Okay. What's, whoa, that's a dang big whiskey bottle. And is that a cigarette box? Or is that the laptop? That's that's the laptop, I think. I think it's the laptop screen all glowing in on me here. Yes, I'm making the sound of snow in my ears. Lovely. Wait, what? What the hell? What? What? Why am I being warped to different sides of this thing? What the hell? Um. Sorry about Aria. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Well, you've already fucked that one up. I was lonely. We were dressing apart, and I needed to be with someone. Why turn to Aria? Why not your friends or your parents? I may have been sick, but I was, I was still human, Olivia. I, I wanted... I needed to be touched, and she was there when I asked her to be. Aria doesn't care about you. And you do? Fighting through the underworld for my sake? All this, but you couldn't even be with me during the darkest time of my life? You think having cancer gives you the excuse to fuck around behind my back? Do you have any idea how this feels for me? To feel this betrayed yet to miss you more than anything? I know exactly how it feels. I can't warn you properly like this. I want to feel sad, but I'm just angry at you. Do you hate me? No, of course not. Why else would I be here? Maybe you should have given that some thought. I'm not leaving you. I just wish you'd worked as hard to reach me when I was alive. I mean, it is kind of an inexcusable thing just because you're suffering to go against, you know, all that kind of stuff. There, there's, there's something that's supposed to be sacred there, and she did kind of violate that, but at the same time, I mean... Is it microwaving a heart? Why? I mean, I get the other symbolism. I get the cigarettes. I get the laptop screen. I get the whiskey bottle. Why is a heart being microwaved? This, this does not seem to follow from everything else I've seen so far. Why? Oh, well. But yeah, it does seem that I am fighting through the underworld to see her, to get her back, or something. I'm not exactly sure. Anybody home? And the money is all gone. That's weird. Her purse is still here. Food shopping back in 20, and her purse is still here. And the picture is on the couch. And the bedroom door is closed. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I can't. No. Lithe. So, yeah. About a month ago, she finally did it. And it looks like maybe self-inflicted. Or maybe she just died of the cancer finally getting to her. Oh, man. Why is it going blue and red? Is this... Like, ambulance sirens. Oh, boy. And this is the graveyard where I started, I think. I think it's supposed to symbolize the graveyard where I started. And where everything ended for Aaron. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be sirens. Attempting to get her to the hospital, only to find out it's too late. So what is this? Aaron, is that you? It's over, Olivia. No, Aaron. I, I did it. I'm here. What were you planning on doing once you found me? I'm dead. Then, then this was all for nothing? No. This is your chance to say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. I want to start over. We don't get that choice. Look, I, I was a shit partner when it came down to it. I was afraid of the pain. I shut you out and ran away. You deserve so much better. But I always loved you. I want- It's okay, Olivia. You don't have to feel guilty forever. She's gone. Oh. And that's the end! I suppose I'm packing everything up and leaving. It'd be very hard to live in a place like this after all that. Alright, so I guess that's it. And as always, I'm not sure how much of that has come from the lives of the developers if they had to go through something like that. I mean, that's a horrific thing to have to go through, to be torn between two worlds. Like, it's, it's really hard to be around people who are suffering, but that's when they need people around them to support them through the whole thing. And to turn your back on that is really, really difficult and quite painful. Um, so I very much enjoyed the game. It was a very realistic look into, into a uh, 
a very horrific, tragic situation that sadly happens to a lot of people. It's not an uncommon thing, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, it was a very well done game. I very much enjoyed that. Um, but I think... I don't think I have much else to say unless I'm supposed to find stuff around here. Oh, no. It disappeared. Oh, and the game shut down. Okay, fine. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to check out the game out for yourself, um, I'll link in the description down below. But, uh, yeah, on that note, I think that's all I got. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. That was written incredibly like an actual child's handwriting, and I have to wonder if this game is based on a true story. Because that actually looked like it was scanned from a real journal. I guess there's no point in further denying it. Ha! I am sorry. Truth is... Is... Is...